What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're taking a look at the Hanna Instruments Copper High Range Color Meter. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you and your reef tank. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. This week we're taking a look at the Hanna Instruments high range copper color meter. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at the Hanna high range copper color meter from Hanna Instruments. Now, if you aren't familiar with Hanna checkers, essentially they are a device that reads parameters of the water for you. Now there's a couple different steps involved with each individual checker, but this one is going to be checking high range copper. Now why would that be something of interest to a reefer? Why would you wanna check your copper? For me specifically, I use copper when I am treating fish in quarantine. I only use copper and copper alone. Now with having an instrument that's going to measure copper for me, I'm going to find that perfect level of copper and maintain it. Even if I'm doing water changes to the tank or water is evaporating, I can keep that level of copper right where I need it. And I know what level I am at with a instrument such as the Hanna Checker. Now different copper medications may call for different parts per million of copper solution diluted throughout a tank. Uh, the product that I use in quarantine asks for the dosage to have the aquarium at 2.5 parts per million, which is for some people very, very high. And I have heard of people using a lot less, but this video isn't to get into the dosing of copper in a quarantine tank, more so utilizing the Hanna Checker to figure out your levels of copper in a quarantine tank and the Hanna Checker is going to be able to help you get to that specific level, maintain it, so you're going to have your fish maintain health and be able to remove any parasites from those fish using a copper treatment. So when you open up your box, you have your instructions, which I highly recommend everybody takes a read of those before using a Hanna Checker. And then you have your quick guide for your Hanna Checker and those are very important to keep so make sure they stay right there then you have your reagent for the Hanna checker and uh, usually when you first buy the kit there's not too many of these in there uh, but you can buy more of these then you have the containers in which you do the testing the Hanna checker itself and it usually has some plastic over the screen but we're not going to peel that off and then you have your battery which you need to install the first time that you use it those batteries last a pretty long time I haven't replaced a battery yet on any of my Hanna checkers and I've used them quite a bit so some of the information that they have on the quick reference guide uh, on the back you have the instructions of how to actually test your copper and then on this side it kind of breaks down some quick technical specs on the high range tester and this guy can range from 0.00 to 5.00 parts per million which is perfect for the solution that we would be working with in this scenario and the resolution is 0.001 parts per million accuracy which is something that has only been brought up recently and I think you know instruments such as the Hanna checker have really kind of brought this to light the accuracy for this checker is plus or minus 0 0.05 which is pretty accurate especially for uh, somebody like myself who's only a hobbyist there are so many things at play that can make you have inaccurate readings when it comes to color charts and reagents and for a small investment it is an investment but for a small one Hanna checkers not just specifically to the copper checker the Hanna checker line of product is incredibly useful and it's going to help increase your accuracy which is going to make you a better reef keeper in the long run all right so we have installed the battery in the hand checker we so we also mixed up a little bit of copper treatment in some tank water and it's very important to make sure that uh, copper does not go into a reef tank because it can raise 
havoc with inverts and corals and all sorts of other critters in your tank. So it's very important that anytime that you're dosing copper to fish, it's done in a separate aquarium and none of that equipment ever gets used in your reef tank. That's just a side note. So what I did is I went ahead and got some water in one of the containers and then I have some water in the second one. And what I'm going to do is put some of the reagent in one of the containers and leave the other one without the reagent. Now the directions with the reagent for the copper is one packet per container and then you put it into the container and then shake gently for 15 seconds and then place it back into the checker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything up prior to so I can go container one, hit the button, container two, and then we should get our reading within a couple of minutes. So first things first, what we're going to do is try to get as much of that reagent off from the cut line as it can so it doesn't spill all over the place. And then to follow this cut line is pretty important because it's going to make adding the reagent much, much easier. Open up your packet and I like to open it up like that so I can control it into the container. That's how you add the reagent without getting it all over the place. Just like that. But not how you add the cap. Alright, so the reagent turns the water a little bit purple, which is interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now one thing before you actually add these into the checker, is very important to make sure there's no fingerprints or anything on the container whatsoever. Might wipe it down and then when you handle it handle it only by the lid again give that a little bit of a wipe down so we're gonna turn on the hand of checker and it says add c1 container one and then press so we're gonna add the one that doesn't have the reagent into the container it's gonna take a reading it's going to be flashing now it says add container two and then press Then the timer is going to start and we're going to leave it here. The timer is for about 45 seconds. So in 45 seconds we'll be back here and hopefully we'll have a reading on the level of copper if I mixed it up so that we can actually read it. I may have added too much, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so it's been 45 seconds and we're getting 5.00 and it's flashing. When you look at your instruction manual, that is it telling you that you're over the range of this copper checker and it's not able to read you that amount. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset up and I've watered down my water a little bit. I'm going to try one more see if I can get a reading that's within the range of the HANA checker. I went back at it. I made some adjustments to the solution that I made so I could actually use the HANA checker for testing copper. Essentially what I did is I took some water out of my tank and I added a couple drops of that copper treatment to it. And the first time that we did it, I got the 5.00 flashing. If you look at your instructions manual, uh, there's a couple of different errors and warnings that will tell you what possibly could be happening with that test. And for that one, the 5.00 flashing is over range. If it's 0 0.00, it's under range. Uh, it also can flash for battery low or dead battery. It will flash bad. And then there's a couple different uh, scenarios for the battery. So what I did was I took my solution that I'd mixed up with the copper. I dumped half of it out and then added some just regular tap water to it. And I ended up retesting it and then I got the reading 2.11. And that is actually just below the recommendation for that copper treatment to have your tank sitting at. So with this, you can dial it in like we have never been able to dial it in before when it comes to quarantining fish and using copper treatments. The Hanna Checker copper high range is an absolute monster and it's going to step up your quarantining and i definitely recommend you guys take a look at this if you are in the process of quarantining fish or are looking to add some new fish for your tank and you're looking to set up a quarantine tank using copper 
using your copper treatment, check out the Hannah Checker Copper High Range Tester. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to check out the HANA High Range Copper Color Meter, there is a link in the description below that will take you to Premium Aquatics where you can pick yourself up one or do some more research. That's going to do it for today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.